On this episode of Bus Talk, we're going to discuss tips and hints for washing and cleaning the school bus. Hi, this is Paul at Bus Talk. At Bus Talk, we discuss all things having to do with school bus driving, focusing on getting kids to and from school safely to promote learning. So today is episode eight of Bus Talk. We're going to talk about uh, cleaning and washing the school bus. Uh, cleaning and washing uh, the bus is critical for safety, the comfort of your passengers, and uh, reflecting pride in your uh, company or school. So I'm going to start by saying normally bus driving really is about operating the bus and taking care of the kids, but uh, cleaning the bus is a big part of the job. Um, my first rule uh, for cleaning the bus is no eating on the bus. Uh, when the kids or students eat on the bus, they make a big mess and I am strictly enforced the no eating on the bus policy. Uh, the only thing that is allowed on the bus are is, is uh, water bottles or drinking water bottles. Uh, no soda, no sports drinks, uh, no club soda or bubble water, mineral water no coffee or tea, anything that's sticky or can cause a mess and spill. I tell the kids that at home, uh, they can make a mess and their parents can clean up after them. But on the school bus, I'm their driver. Uh, I'm not their parent. I don't clean up their messes. Okay, daily cleaning of the bus. Uh, the most biggest daily cleaning chore at the end of the route is sweeping. Sweeping is gonna get the most uh, dirt out of the inside of the bus and you got to do it da uh, daily and uh, have uh, do a good job. I like to start, I drive a type 1 conventional bus and I like to start in the uh, front of the bus and I sweep it out and then I open up the back emergency door and push all the dust and dirt out of the back of the bus. Uh, the next thing is, so cleaning the inside of the bus is just a constant, constant um, chore. I try to do about 10 minutes a day, uh, usually in the morning, uh, wiping down the interior of the bus with um, uh, cleaning spray and paper towels. So when I'm cleaning the inside of the bus, I wipe down uh, a row of seats every day. There's 10 rows of seats in this bus with uh, 20 bench seats. Uh, I start up on the ceiling, I wash down the windows, the posts, the front of the seats, the seats, the seat backs, uh, I get down to the, the uh, floor and I clean the floor. If you do uh, uh, two bench seats a day in about two, two and a half weeks, you end up wiping out down the entire inside of the bus. It's a little bit like uh, when they paint the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, they have one crew that paints on the bridge every day and they start on one side of the bridge and they work to the other and when they finish painting they go back to where they started and start painting all over again that's how it is for me cleaning the inside of the bus uh, if you start at one spot you clean a little bit every day then the inside of the bus stays nice and clean okay. so how about some of the stuff i do uh you know a weekly or a bi-weekly basis uh, one thing is the windshield i clean the windshield about every other day a good clean windshield is critical for safety and visibility. Uh, the other thing is I empty uh, the garbage can at least twice a week. Uh, I keep uh, garbage can liners, a roll of garbage can liners in the bottom of the garbage can. Uh, when I pull the, the liner out, I, close, I, I put in a fresh garbage can liner. The thing about the garbage can that's important to keep it empty is uh, if you get a student that gets sick on the bus, and is uh, vomiting, uh, I use uh, the garbage can, I give it to the student and I tell them to uh, puke in the garbage can. That way it really limits the amount of mess that you can get on the seats or the floor of the bus. Then all you have to do is pull out the garbage can liner, tie it nice and tight, uh, maybe put it in another garbage can liner and then throw it in the trash. On a weekly basis, I also clean the dash and the inside of the windows. Um, that's really important for uh, maintaining uh, the um, uh, switches and controls in good working order on the inside of the bus. Also, the cleaning the inside of the windshield is good, important for visibility. There's a lot of um, uh, uh, nooks and small spaces on the dash, 
And so if you're wiping it down regularly, removing the dust and the dirt, uh, it just also makes your uh, space a lot more cleaner and for me, more comfortable. All right, so the last thing that I do about once a month is I clean the outside of the bus or wash the outside of the bus. My technique for that is I um, go to the wash rack that we have here at our bus yard. I take the power washer, I spray down and rinse the entire outside of the bus, removing uh, uh, the uh, majority of the dirt. Then I go through with uh, soapy water and the soft brush and I uh, remove all the stubborn uh, dirt and grime, then come back with the power washer and rinse that off. I clean the rims with a microfiber towel. Uh, keeping the bus clean outside of the bus is really important because it reflects uh, pride in the outfit. Uh, whatever company or school you, you work for, uh, people uh, see your school bus and you represent uh, your school and your students, your teachers, and your staff. Okay, the last thing to remember is paperwork. Uh, if you have uh, paperwork to fill out, remember, it's the job isn't done until the paperwork is, in fill, is filled out. Where I'm at is here is our supervisor likes us to complete a form, uh, a log every time we wash the outside of the school bus. So, you know, paperwork is the mother's milk of bureaucracy. So remember, paperwork is an important part of the job because if you haven't, if you've washed the bus and you haven't completed the paperwork, uh, your supervisor isn't going to know that you did the job. That wraps up uh, this episode of Bus Talk on cleaning and washing the school bus. Be interested if anybody has uh, comments, list them below on this vi uh, video. Remember, safety is essential.